Now let's take a look at combination termination. Remember that when chains terminate by combination, two active chains combine to form a dead chain whose length is the sum of the two active chains that experience combination. So therefore, to express the probability that a dead chain is an imer, we need to add up all the possible ways that two active chains can combine uh, to produce a chain with a length i. And that's what's expressed here in this relationship. Uh, the probability of an imer is the sum of the probability that a chain has length j times the probability that a chain has length i minus j, that those two uh, come together uh, to experience a combination uh, termination interaction. And we have to add this over all the i and j uh, combinations uh, that could exist. So I want to take a look at each of these terms in this expression so that we can obtain a relationship uh, for this summation. So this first term, the probability that a chain is a jamer, remember that this is similar to what we already uh, obtained in our analysis of disproportionation termination. So we have beta to the j minus 1, which is the probability that the chain is propagated to a length j minus 1, times 1 minus beta, which is the probability that the next uh, step is a termination step. Then for the i minus jamer, we have the probability that a chain is propagated to a length i minus j, so i minus j minus 1 in the exponent of beta times 1 minus beta, which again is the probability that the next step will be a termination step. So now we can substitute these two quantities into the summation, and we can see that this beta, this exponent to the term beta, the j's actually cancel out because we have a plus j here and a minus j here, uh, and then we have 1 minus beta squared. So we end up with the sum of this term 1 minus beta quantity squared times beta to the i minus 2 but we're summing over j. So actually, this is really easy to evaluate because this term is a constant with respect to j. We can just factor it out, and what we end up with is basically adding up all i minus 1 times this quantity. So the probability that a dead chain is an imer is i minus 1 times this quantity 1 minus beta squared beta to the i minus 2. Now, let's see how we can apply this to determine the number average molecular weight uh, of a sample that was prepared in free radical polymerization with combination termination. So remember that the number average molecular weight is the sum of the NIMI over the sum of the NI. So let's take a look at this more closely. This sum of the NI in the denominator is the total number of chains. And this parameter mi is i times the monomer molecular weight. In other words, the molecular weight of fraction i, a chain of length i, is the number of monomers times the monomer molecular weight. So if I rearrange this, then I can bring this constant, n total, inside this summation so, and rewrite it this way. I have the sum of ni over n total times i m naught. Now this sum, ni over n, to n total, remember that's the fraction of molecules that have a length i. And this is expressed by this probability that a chain is an imer, which we just obtained. P i minus 1 times 1 minus beta squared times beta to the i minus 2. So I can substitute this in, combine terms, and I'll factor out the terms that don't depend on i. I'm summing over i. So I have m naught, the monomer molecular weight, times 1 minus beta squared, times the sum over i of i times i minus 1 times beta to the i minus 2. Okay, it can be shown that this sum equals this quantity. And again, this is using the similar mathematical arguments that we used, uh, that I showed you in step growth polymerization. I'm not going to go through them here. Uh, but similar relationships exist, and this is one of them for this summation. Again, subject to our typical considerations that n is big, uh, so we're summing over a large number of terms, and beta is less than 1, or the magnitude of beta is less than 1. 
So this summation converges to this quantity. So then I can just plug that into this product, and what I end up with is that the number average molecular weight is 2 times the monomer molecular weight over 1 minus beta for combination termination.